After my failure with the 15-watt uh, uh, laser, uh, that was a cheap Chinese laser, I decided to uh, purchase a Nietzsche uh, NUBM44 from DTR's laser. Basically, this is the true 7-watt laser. Um, I did, they, they, they did give me an option to uh, purchase a, a different current. So I chose uh, 4.6 amps for driving current, which means that I drive the, LE, uh, the uh, laser at about 90%. So it should be good. Uh, it's not overdriven. It'll never be overdriven. Uh, right now, uh, I, I didn't know how much heat that uh, the laser would um, generate. So I decided to uh, make a big heat sink block for it. Uh, so this is basically my CNC uh, milling uh, hole for it. This is the laser right here. It was a 20 millimeter copper block, uh, copper uh, with the G8 lens. The uh, copper block weighs um, about uh, two kilos, about five pounds, and. Um, the um, laser was pressed into it. Then the problem with machining copper is that um, it heats up as you machine it, so the hole uh, will shrink. So you have to make several passes. Uh, that's the inside of the hole. With the, you can see the driver coming out. So basically I just put a big hunk of metal with a uh, copper CPU heatsink on top with a fan which is a variable speed with uh, controlled by heat. Uh, and I have to say this was a little bit overkill because the laser doesn't heat at all at all. Uh, I don't even think that the uh, speed of the uh, fan actually revs up even after an hour of continuous lasering. Uh, the, uh, it's important to say that the, uh, the uh, aluminum uh, mount uh, was also machined to behave as a heat sink as well. So the whole thing, uh, the whole head laser and mount weighs about 10 pounds or 5 uh, four kilos. So there's a bit of inertia in it. Um, I did mount everything on a uh, Acme screw and on a bearing. Um, right now I'm just manually focusing the laser um, but I plan to having uh, automatic focus a little later on. Uh, so different pictures of uh, how the screw is mounted. I only need one rail because uh, it doesn't really uh, move or uh, uh, or push anything unlike a drill or, or a spindle. Um, so here's a picture of the uh, head mounted, uh, uh, the, the laser uh, mounted on the head It's not wired yet. Uh, another picture. This is like the at the most uh, the, the lowest that it goes, and the um, the thing is, I bought two lenses for the laser. One is a G8 lens, and the other one is a G2. The G8 head lens has a is more forgiving for focus, but it doesn't uh, make a small. Um, pin uh, or, or, or small hole or small burn as the uh, G2. Um, so either either lenses are, are okay. Uh, now this is a, a burn pattern. You can see at the beginning and starts of the um, of the laser burns have a mark. 
and that's because of the acceleration and deceleration of the head so the laser actually spends more time um, oh and this is a picture of um, I've made modification to the software so it doesn't have this uh, acceleration as much you can see it much more here like the acceleration deceleration of the of the head where it burns it overburns now I've made modification to the software and I'll share that a little later on other videos now you can see that the burn the overburn is not as uh, prevalent or, or or seen. Um, actually the results are pretty good as you can see here. Um, the uh, skeleton does have or skull does have a overburn where the laser remained on um, but you can see it working and uh, it's, it's rather fast. It's, you would think it would be slow but uh, no it's uh, it's uh, it's a busy little laser and that's the reason basically you want a stronger laser to go faster now uh, you need uh, some exhaust uh, vents because it does smoke quite a bit thanks for watching and I'll make other videos on